The Cliff Notes today are about offering employees unlimited vacation. Traditional earned time off programs have been around for a while and employers have been offering employees two weeks vacation upon date of hire. This has recently shifted though because of the tight hiring crunch we are having and employers are being faced with employees asking for additional vacation as part of the negotiation process. But what happens if we offered employees unlimited vacation? More and more companies are doing that today. About 130,000 companies, it's estimated, of the 32.5 million companies in the U.S. are offering unlimited vacation. Why don't more? Well, managers are worried. They're worried about possible productivity impact, and they're also worried about abuse. But if you think about it, even the accrued vacation policies have rules around making sure employees are not abusing them. These similar controls can be also put in place for unlimited vacation policies. And the most obvious one that you can put into place is that the manager makes the decision about whether the employee can take the vacation or not.